Welcome to Scrapbook My Life, where I tell you an embarrassing story to save you from making the same embarrassing mistakes I did. One of the perks of being in middle school is that my mom will take me and my friends to the mall and actually drop us off and leave. But I learned quickly the mall isn't as fun when you don't have any money. So I decided it was time for me to get a job. But the options when you're under 15 are pretty limited. I could tutor, but I don't have the grades for that. There's dog walking, but who wants to pick up piles of dog poop? Or there's babysitting. Get paid to raid the fridge and watch TV after the kids go to bed? Sign me up, babysitting it was. After weeks of CPR training and Red Cross babysitting classes, I finally got my super official babysitter certification. I spent hours designing the perfect flyer to let people know I was open for business. I hung up dozens of signs all over the neighborhood. And then I waited like forever, but no one called. Finally, after a couple of weeks, Mrs. Landon reached out. I gotta say, after my expert marketing, I expected this all to happen a lot faster, but better late than never. Mrs. Landon needed a sitter for her kids, Wyatt and Piper, on Friday night. Awesome. Even better, she offered me $15 an hour. I was going to be rich. I was already mentally spending the 60 bucks I was going to earn. Friday night finally arrived, and I was ready to be the best, coolest babysitter in town. With a glowing recommendation from the Landons, word would spread and the jobs would start rolling in. But everything had to go perfectly. On Friday night, I showed up right at 5 o'clock. Mr. and Mrs. Landon ran me through their kids' routine, what to give them for dinner, pizza, yum, what they could have for dessert, ice cream, the perks kept coming, and that they would be home at 9 p.m. to put Piper and Wyatt to bed. All I had to do was get them in their PJs. I made sure to pay close attention and even wrote some things down to show the Landons that I was committed to following the rules. The Landons left and it was game on. Wyatt and Piper took me into their playroom and everything was going great. We played some board games, ate pizza, and they thought I was super funny. I was totally crushing it until Piper suggested that we play hide and seek. What could go wrong, right? Well, they told me that I should be the seeker first, so I closed my eyes and counted to 50. Ready or not, here I come, I shouted. I looked around the first floor and couldn't find them. They were better at hiding than I'd anticipated. I went upstairs and eventually found Piper hiding under the bed. Her feet poking out gave her away. A rookie hide and seek mistake. I asked Piper to help me find Wyatt and we walked around the rest of upstairs, but I still couldn't find him. I was starting to get nervous. I went back downstairs and searched the first floor again. No Wyatt. Okay, I give up, I yelled, but he didn't come out. Do you know where he is? I asked Piper. She said no, so she wasn't going to be very helpful. I started to panic. I legitimately had no clue where this kid was hiding. I did a full sweep of the house, another one, still nothing. I looked at the clock, 8.45 p.m., shoot. I needed to get these kids in their pajamas before their parents got home if I wanted to secure my spot as the number one babysitter in town. I started contemplating if this kid knew some real life magic when I heard the front door open. How did he get outside without me knowing? But it wasn't Wyatt. It was Mr. and Mrs. Landon. They were home and I couldn't find their son. Piper yelled, mommy, and gave her mom a hug. I hoped Wyatt would pop out and do the same thing, but it was crickets. Mr. Landon asked me how things went and I froze. My visions of becoming filthy rich from babysitting floated away. I knew what I had to do. I told Mr. and Mrs. Landon that we were playing hide and seek and I, a full-blown middle schooler, had been outsmarted by a first grader. I waited for them to scold me and say they'll never hire me again. But Mrs. Landon <laughs> laughed. She led me to the kitchen and showed me Wyatt's secret hiding place, a tiny cupboard I hadn't even noticed before. She told me that it was okay. This had happened to her too. One time she couldn't find him for over an hour. Piper and Wyatt told their parents they had so much fun and asked if I could babysit again. Mrs. Landon paid me the $60 and asked if I could come back the next weekend. The lesson I learned that night was it's okay to own up to your own mistakes and maybe more importantly, keep both eyes open when playing hide and seek. <laughs>